Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a ship with me video and I know in my last ship with me video, if you watched that, I was talking about how I have been kind of a bad reseller about shipping recently, but this week I definitely have been more on top of it. I shipped on Monday everything. So today is Thursday, uh, October 7th. And this is basically everything that has sold from Tuesday, Wednesday, and then this morning, Thursday. So um, these are going out within a, you know, relatively appropriate amount of time. A lot of these sold yesterday or today. So that's good. I feel a lot better about being on top of my shipping. I always get a little bit stressed when I'm behind on shipping specifically. So let's go ahead and get into it. We do have several items. Our first item to sell was this pair of Sam Edelman Gladiator suede lace up wedge shoes. I've had these for, I would say three or four months now. I did pick them up at my local family thrift center outlet for $2 and they actually sold full price. So I had them listed at $32. They sold and that made my earnings $25.60 and my net profit $23.60 on these. So that was great. Um, I think they're really nice shoes and they're in excellent condition. The bottom sole really doesn't have any wear to it. I tried to go a little bit more in depth this video on my listing prices and then you know what the offer price was versus the listing price to see um, to give a better insider look into you know what offers I'm willing to accept um, in comparison to what I list items for. I always think that's pretty helpful info. I know a lot of you, well, I mean, even when I first started selling, pricing was one of the hardest things for me. So I do like to try to be transparent with my listing prices and what items sell for and also my cost of goods. I think that's really good information that helps a lot of you out. So yeah, net profit of 23.60 on these definitely happy with that especially because we're going into fall time so a full price summer sandals sale right now is very welcomed okay next a bundle this was actually also a full price sale which was great um, and the first item is this Lou and gray poncho this is their signature soft fabric which is basically just a rayon spandex blend. It's a, um, like a jersey, stretch jersey knit. Very, very soft. And it is exclusive to the Lou and Gray brand. Second item is this Brandy Melville loose knit, kind of slouchy, semi sheer sweater. These two items, I would say both of these have been listed oops, no more than a couple weeks. So pretty quick sellers. I knew that both of these would um, sell pretty quickly just because Brandy Melville basics, like sweaters especially, have always sold very consistently for me. Not for a high dollar amount, but... Um, they always sell and Lou and Gray the signature soft stuff also sells extremely well so last piece in this bundle is this pair of shorts and I picked these up based on size and material so the brand is Lord and Taylor but they're hundred percent linen size 10 and they're like this cargo style almost like a they have like a paper bag waist look a little bit. So yeah, I thought these were super cute. I had to grab them. If they 
were not 100% linen and didn't have the cute cargo style, I would have left them behind. But they did have several sellable factors, in my opinion. So this bundle sold for... The buyer bundled the three items and... And in my closet, I do have an automatic bundle discount of 15% off three items or more. And so I think that encourages some buyers to find at least three items so they can get that bundle discount. And I think honestly that really helps me sell more bundles because of that built-in discount. So the buyer bundled the three items and the price was $94 but because of that built-in 15% bundle discount that I offer that automatically lowered the price to $79.90 so that's what it was purchased for which made my earnings $63.92 and my net profit $57.92 so very happy with that these are three great items and I have had the linen shorts for a little bit longer I would say maybe two or three months and again very happy to have a full price sale with shorts <laughs> um, going out in the summer but honestly they're really nice I mean they the buyer could be Oh, wow, okay, they live in Alaska. I was thinking maybe Florida or something. So, um, who knows? Who knows what's happening in Alaska right now? Um, haven't been to Alaska in a minute, so it could have switched up on me. Okay, next we have a tank top. And this is definitely a Bolo brand. It's Zaya. I think that's how you say it. Z-Y-I-A. And from what I understand, it's... I think it's like an MLM brand, maybe. A MLM athletic brand. That's kind of the impression that I've gotten. Um, or maybe it's just like a cabbie type of thing where you have to have like a membership to buy stuff. I really have no idea, but I do think it is, it does have some type of exclusivity to the brand. So it seems like the demand and the pricing on the resale market has stayed pretty strong. And I think it might be because it is harder to get the items on the retail market. Um, you might have to have some type of membership or something. So I kind of debated on picking this piece up just because it's such a basic tank. You guys, if you watch my channel, you know that I like to pick up substantial pieces, but I knew that the demand for this brand is pretty high. So I went ahead and got it just to kind of experiment and I listed it at $22. It sold within about a month by offer of $16. I thought that was fair. That made my earnings $12.80 and my net profit $10.80. So, you know, not a huge sale there, but you know, I'm happy to move it out quickly and $10 is $10. Next, we have a really fun sweater. This was a very recent pickup. This sold within a day or two of being listed. The brand is called For the Republic. And I said in the video, in my haul video, that this was a house brand of some department store, but that was wrong. I think it's, I think this is sold. I'm probably going to be wrong again when I say this. I think this is sold at Saks Fifth avenue and i think i said that it's sold at neiman marcus but anyways it's one of the higher end department stores that sells this brand it could also be sold at nordstrom rack it's definitely more of like a mid-tier brand but you know i picked this up mostly based on the style the leopard bodice with the zebra sleeves is that zebra tiger tiger sleeves 
And also when I looked it up, I saw that it was a wool blend. This was missing the fabric tag. So I just found a similar listing and I saw the fabric tag said that it was a wool blend. So the material content as well as the style and it measured like a size large, extra large. So all of those are great sellable factors. It sold full price for $35 which made my earnings 28 and my net profit $26. So great pickup here. We love a fast sale. I would totally pick up sweaters like this uh, with no brand. I mean, the brand on that really didn't matter to me too much. So that kind of just, or that kind of supports that. I'm gonna drink a little coffee here. This is my afternoon coffee in my Poshmark little tumbler here. This is a wine tumbler, but I usually use it for coffee. Okay. Next we have a two piece bundle here. First off is this pair of Ugg boots. Again, very newly listed. These sold within a day or two of being listed. These are amazing. They are so cute and they're in excellent shape. I mean, I was shocked when I saw these because they really, really didn't have much wear to them at all. I got these from the Family Thrift Center outlet and they have a genuine shearling lining you can fold it down or you can wear them as an all suede looking boot they are a clog style and clog style shoes with a genuine wood base are very in demand very popular clogs have always sold so well for me i'm trying to think of I know dance I sold dance go clogs ug now um what else oh there was a brand Lottie's Lotta's of Stockholm I sold clogs from that brand and I was trying to think of oh has beens that's Swedish clogs and those sell really well Swedish has beens if you guys aren't familiar with that, you should look it up. Okay, and then the second item in this bundle is this rose accented uh, leather belt. It has like silver tone metal rosettes with a chain link and genuine leather base. So a lot happening with this belt, it's super cool. I have mentioned it so many times, but I absolutely love picking up belts. They're easy to photo, easy to list. They're usually pretty quick sellers, easy to measure. So the bundle of these two items. Okay, so yeah, the buyer bundled the two and the bundle price was $125. And they offered 90 for it, which I did accept. I thought that was a fair offer for sure. And so that made my earnings $72. I paid four for both items. And so my net profit was $68 on this bundle. So very happy about that. We love moving items quickly. I think, let me, I think I'm going to weigh this box before I um, am done with it, just to double check that it is not over five pounds. Yeah, it's only three pounds, three pounds, a little over three pounds. So we are good on that. Feels super heavy to me. 
Okay, next. Oh, you know what? Okay, so this top I actually have in my apartment. I somehow forgot to bring it over to my office. This is the first time in like two years that I've had my apartment and office separate working studios that I have forgotten to bring an item over here once it's been listed. So I will include a picture of this. It's a good human graphic t-shirt. I listed it for $25 and I ended up getting an offer of 20 a couple days after being listed or maybe same day actually, which I did accept that. That made my earnings 16. I paid two. So my net profit was $14. So I will just take this label home and get that packaged up today and I will just drop it at the post office by my apartment. Okay, next we have a pair of Gap corduroy jeans. They're high-waisted and skinny jeans. Let me see. Always skinny high-rise corduroy jeans in a size 27. And my friend actually gave these to me to resell. She was just kind of cleaning out her closet. And they sold full price for $22. So I thought that was great. I think corduroy is super trendy right now. Obviously, you know, we're going into fall time, winter time, which it usually seems to get more popular. But I think it's actually like a big trend right now. And some people have said that skinny jeans are kind of on their way out, but I have not seen any slowdown in sales of skinny jeans. So, um, yeah, I, I haven't noticed any slowdown in that department. So, until then, I will continue to pick up skinny jeans and sell skinny jeans. Um, I think I have maybe like four more pairs to package today. So my earnings were $17.60 on that, on those jeans. Okay, next a two-piece bundle. We have first off this pair of Abercrombie and Fitch jeans. These are not skinny. They are more like a straight leg. They are called the Dad High Rise Jeans. I talked about these in the haul, but they have this crisscross zip up button detail at the waist. And that is also something that has been very popular right now. A Goldie sells a very similar pair to these. And I mean, they, they resell for like 80 to $150. Um, these even, these Abercrombie and Fitch retail for $85 and they're reselling around $50. So the demand for the whole crisscross dad jean look seems to be pretty good. I was kind of debating on grabbing these at the bins because they were actually unzipped when I found them so I couldn't see the crisscross detail. And they are pretty heavy, so that's why I was kind of debating on these. Um, I probably paid, let's see, I, yeah, I probably paid two or three dollars for them. And second item is this Victoria's Secret gold label teddy or little lingerie uh, bodysuit piece. Really pretty, really feminine. And the Victoria's Secret gold label, it's their vintage label, definitely something to look out for. This bundle, so when added together, the bundle price was $90. The buyer sent me an offer for $65, $65 which I did accept, making my earnings $52 and my net profit $48. I paid, I said I paid $4 for both pieces. This lingerie I did grab for $2 at my family thrift outlet and those, these jeans were from the bins. So, yeah, these were both in excellent condition. The jeans look brand new and honestly,
lastly, this little bodysuit does as well. It had no tearing to the lace or, um, you know, the satin bodice was in great shape. So I always love finding really nice condition items and giving them a new home. That's definitely something that it's just very satisfying for me to know that I mean, these items were probably headed for a landfill. The jeans I know were in an older bin that they were about to roll back to the back. People had looked through the bin and they didn't want the jeans. So I was happy to snatch them up. Okay, next, another two piece bundle. These are gorgeous items. Again, very newly listed. They're both the same brand, Laura Urbanati which I had never heard of before, but I did find them both in a cluster of designer items within a couple bins. And so I did obviously pick these up. This dress actually has a tag still on for $535. It's this gorgeous tiered maxi dress, it has a floral print. This is actually a hand-drawn print by the designer. It has a V-neck. It's a silk blend made in Italy. Just a gorgeous piece here. And um, yeah, I, I just can't fathom as to why someone would buy this for $535 and then just go ahead and pop it in the donation bin. But I mean, you know, to each his own. I'm just happy that it is going to a new home going to a great home and honestly I was really excited to learn about this brand I had never heard of it before but the pieces are really cool and the designer seems super interesting so I will throw the tag up on the screen for you guys to look out for and second item is this navy silk button down just a timeless classic piece here same brand it looks like swimwear from this brand is maybe most popular but i think items with like kind of graphic pop art prints also sell pretty well like the dress and these two pieces when bundled together the price the bundle price was 165 the buyer offered me 130 which I thought was super fair. I did accept that, making my earnings 104 Both of these items are super lightweight, so I probably paid about $3 for both, making my net profit right around $100. So I think that's a super win-win. Um, Obviously, you know, I'm very happy with my profit and, you know, I think it's a great deal because the combined retail of these was probably around $700. So yeah, I really hope the buyer enjoys. And once again, it's just, it's a really nice feeling to kind of rehome items, especially when they are gorgeous like these. here okay next American Eagle daisy print midi dress it has slits in the front as well as a waist tie and I mentioned it again in the haul but there were so many reasons to pick this up midi and maxi length are both incredibly popular and in demand links of dresses I guess it had a lot of details like the waist tie, the side slits, um, the kind of 90s Y2K floral print. So definitely had to get this. And it actually sold full price for $28. So I think my secret to full price sales is to just kind of price fairly. 
if this were not the newer tag and it didn't have so much going for it, if it was just kind of a more basic or less substantial American Eagle dress, I would have priced 22 to 25 ish. But because it was a newer tag and it had so much going for it, I did up it just a little bit to $28 uh, because I think, you know, that's fair. Some people may have listed it for 30 to 35 just because it might still be selling online for, I'm sure it's around 50 to $55 retail. So some resellers might list it for 30 to 35 ish, but I think 28 is a great price point just because, you know, it's, it seems like a more approachable number. It's not in the thirties, but it's also, um, I think it does the piece justice. It's not, you know, a low twenties number. So that's kind of my thought process behind that. So sold for 28, my earnings were $22 and 40 cents. I paid about a dollar at the bins. So my net profit was 2140. I do realize that I, you know, have a lot more wiggle room than some people because my cost of goods is so low. So I know that that is something else to take into consideration. I definitely know that it's a little bit harder when cost of goods are higher, but you know, when that's the case, I would probably source a little bit differently if my cost of goods were higher. My specific business model and what I source, what specific items I source, all kind of rotates around my low cost of goods, having a low cost of goods. Okay, next up we have, we have a very fall slash colder weather themed bundle here. So first off is this Madewell utility jacket. This is called the Fleet Jacket, I think. So these first three items were very newly listed. Whoops. They sold within a couple days of being listed. Actually, I'm going to zip this up. I'm going to box them up in my largest bundle box. It's box number seven from USPS. I just order these free from USPS. I order all of my boxes and envelopes that I ship with free from USPS. I have a list of everything that I order in the description down below. So first, Madewell jacket. Next, we have another utility jacket. This one is from Trina Turk, and it has a really fun pop of color lining on the wrists as well as under the collar. Super cute. These were definitely donated by the same person. I found them together in a bin at the outlet. Um, it's always kind of fun to see you know, what one person donates because it's very obvious when one person has donated a bunch of stuff. And the third item is this Banana Republic Sherpa Teddy style jacket. It's like a bomber jacket with faux leather details. It's really nice. It's fully lined and it does have a little bit of fuzz on it. I did, I did lint roll it, but you know, what can you do? So I'm just going to add this in. I actually might need to get a bigger box. I don't know, we'll see. Cause I do have one last item and I am, I think I'm gonna wrap this one just because it's a cashmere blend. It's a little bit lighter weight, so this one is Joie. It's like a reptile print, lightweight cashmere blend sweater. I ordered this sweater from ThreadUp's online outlet, I would say like six months ago. It has taken six months to sell, but you know, that's fine. I have mentioned it before, but I'm not sharing my items anymore. I have my Posher VA Chrome extension sharing my, my items. So it doesn't really matter to me if something sits forever because I'm not the one sharing it every day anymore. Okay, so this is packaged up. I'm just going to put this on top. And I think, I think this is fine. 
just because there is, you know, there is an extra set of flaps under what you cut. So that kind of gives a guard so that you won't, you know, cut anything with opening. But if a box is pretty full like this, I will usually always message the buyer on Poshmark just to give them a heads up and say, you know, please be extra careful with opening. The box is packed pretty full and it's never been a problem. And I mean, you can see the buyer will cut down this line and underneath this line, there are two flaps that are going this way. So there, there's really no way to actually cut the items inside. So that's good. So this bundle, when the items were all together, the price was $153. I did receive an offer from the buyer of $120. I accepted, that made my earnings 96. I paid about $11 for everything just because I did order the one sweater from the ThreadUp outlet. So my net profit on this bundle was $85. So I'm happy with that. Next, we have, um, oh, okay, this is, we're going to use yet another larger box, and first item is this BB Dakota check wool blend jacket. This thing is so chic on, you can't really tell, but when you have it on, it kind of crosses over like this to look like you have a scarf on. The lapels look like a scarf. Very cool. We used to sell, I, or I used to sell BB Dakota all the time when I worked at Nordstrom in the juniors department. It was definitely one of my best sellers. They have really nice jackets and coats. And last item is this little, the brand is The Limited, which I don't know if I've ever actually resold, but I did find this in a bin. I saw that it was, I just kind of was attracted to the construction and cut of it. It looked super 90s to me. And then when I looked at the material tag, I saw that it was, 75% silk, 15% cotton, and 10% cashmere. So, you know, that's an awesome fabric makeup. The quality is definitely there. And I knew that I could easily model it to kind of show how I envisioned it to be kind of like a 90s cut and fit. And the quality was there to back it up. So. That was kind of my reasoning behind picking this up. If it was just, you know, 100% polyester, there's no way I would have grabbed it. But at the bins, super lightweight and just a really nice little basic piece. So this bundle, the buyer added the two together and I sent an offer of $38 out. I didn't send, there was no discounted shipping. I just sent an offer of $38. It was accepted and that made my earnings $30.40. I paid about $3 for both items and so my net profit was $27.40. Okay, next we have, also I would say both of those the jacket probably took a couple months to sell and the tank probably took two to three weeks to sell. Next we have a Diane Von Furstenberg purple dress. This is a shift style dress. Really pretty. Love the jewel tone. And you know, anything Diane Von Furstenberg, very high quality, very beautiful piece. This I listed for $35 and I received an offer of $25. That made my earnings 20 and my net profit about $19. It is pretty lightweight, so I probably paid about a dollar for it at the bins. 
I found I found several Diane von Furstenberg and Theory and Vince dresses in a bin. Obviously, all donated from one person. And this was actually the only one that I was a little bit iffy about picking up because of the loud color. I usually stick to neutral colors, but it was the first one out of the lot to sell. So that was kind of funny. That just goes to show you that, you know, expect the unexpected with reselling. That's, that's kind of what I've learned. You never really know what's going to sell, what's not going to sell. Well, I guess you do sometimes, but other times, you know, it can be a little surprising. Okay, next, a three item bundle. Uh, first, we have two pairs of skinny jeans. So back to the skinny jeans. These are Citizens of Humanity. Citizens of Humanity. They are the rocket style high rise skinny jean. They're in a velvet or velour material. The Rocket style from Citizens of Humanity specifically sells very well. Second pair are these J brand distressed skinny jeans. Super distressed and then they have the frayed bottom hem. I think, yeah, these are also a high rise. And all three of the pieces in this sale sold super quickly within a week of being listed. Maybe even less. They were all listed this week. So yeah, within a week, within a few days of being listed. So that's great. And this is definitely a bundle that is like fall staples, fall essentials. You have velour skinny jeans and then a chambray long sleeve shirt dress this is michael stars it's like a striped chambray snap up shirt dress this is super cute super versatile you could wear this with ankle booties or you know sandals in the summertime even taller boots and the Buyer bundled the three of these and I sent her an offer of $65 with discounted shipping, which she did accept, making my earnings $50.50. My net profit was around $45.50 for these items. I paid around $5 for everything. sticker and just stick the label on okay next we have a button down top this is a cabby plaid top it has a ruffle bottom hem and it's a size extra large so again we have a lot of sellable sellability points on this piece the size the style the seasonality um, and I listed this for $35 and then today I received an offer of $25, which I did accept, making my earnings 20. I probably paid about a dollar for it at the bins. And so my net profit was $19 on this top. Okay, next we have a pair of American Eagle skinny jeans. I was very excited to find these at the bins because they are a larger size, which I typically don't find too many jeans that are in excellent condition that are in plus size, which I wish I found more of. I do really like, you know, stocking my closet with 
all sizes. These are a size 24 regular and they are the super high rise jegging. And these look like they were never worn. They still have the white threading on the back that keeps the tag attached. The tag is not there though. So, you know, I just listed them as excellent pre-owned condition. And I did list them for $35 just because they are the newer tag. They're a larger size and they're in, like I said, excellent condition. So listed them for 35. I got an offer of $29, which I thought was super fair. I did accept. So my earnings were $23 and 20 cents. And my net profit was right around $21. So definitely happy with that. And yeah, I'm excited to get these off to their new home. This is, actually I think I have another pair of skinny jeans even after these. So I think we're shipping a total of five pairs of skinny jeans this haul. So I mean that just kind of goes to show that skinny jeans are definitely still selling. I think I might, I might want to switch these to a box. No, they're okay. Yeah, they're fine. Okay, next. Okay, four piece bundle. We have this uh, pair of rag and bone skinny jeans. These are the 10 inch skinny in a size 26 and they're in like this washed charcoal black color. Again, another bins find. Second item is this vintage Cheers t-shirt. I was very excited to find this just because it is genuine vintage. It's not like a, you know, it wasn't a reproduced t-shirt or anything. I think it's from the eighties. So really needs. I did add all of the vintage keywords to this, like single stitch, paper thin, um, screen stars. That's the brand of t-shirt that it was made on and screen stars. They are older t-shirts. So that is a Screen stars, those are keywords for vintage t-shirts. So we have those two and then two tops. First, this soft surroundings plaid kind of long line top, size medium. This is like a quintessential fall top. So cute with jeans and boots. And last, fourth and final item is this Isabella Sinclair top with a fun little keyhole opening and back and ruffle detail. There's a lot happening with this top. There's a side button detail, little ruffle hem. And I would say all of these were listed within the past couple weeks, maybe two to three weeks. So all pretty quick sellers. The, when the buyer un, bundled the four items together, the bundle price came out to $130. They offered 75, which I did go ahead and accept um, just because I need to move some inventory out. I have a lot of inventory right now. So um, I went ahead and accepted that offer which made my earnings 60. I paid about $6 for everything. And so my net profit was $54. Actually, I think I'm going to use my larger bundle box. Okay. label on. 
Okay, last couple of sales here. Last sale in my women's closet. We have this hours dress. It's fully sequined, midi length. It has like a knot detail in front. This is a really pretty evening dress. I did add a lot of keywords to this. Evening, cocktail, wedding, and event dresses have been selling a little bit better recently because, you know, um, people are starting to go to more events now. I did purchase this from my neighbor. She was moving and just trying to get rid of some stuff. And so I went over and I bought several dresses. I believe I have already made back my money from everything that I purchased. And so this dress was a profit at this point and it sold for $50. I did list it at 99 just because it is more of a formal dress. This brand Hours, it's H colon O-U-R-S. That's how it's spelled. And it is sold on Revolve. So, you know, one of those kind of um, trendy, higher-end, like, influencer-y type brands. Okay, so very last sale to ship is from my men's closet. It's this Zara button-down shirt kind of shacket uh, situation just because the fabric is definitely substantial. It's like a thicker, super thick kind of cotton material. I would personally wear this oversized. I would button it up or I would wear it, you know, with a little tank underneath. I love over shirts like this. And I listed this at $25. I got an offer of $18, which I accepted. That made my earnings $14.40. I paid $2 for it. And so my net profit was $12.40 on this Zara shirt. It was the newer tag Zara, size extra large, and it was in great shape. So that was why I wanted to pick this up. So that is absolutely everything for this Ship With Me video. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it to the end, um, I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you guys soon. I should have a thrift haul coming out pretty soon. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see y'all then. Bye guys.